every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 head in the Home Depot. Hey, hey, hey. What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater, and I'm out here fighting the coronavirus. Just kidding, just trying to get a couple last installs done here. Anyways, my customer had uh, said that he was having a hard time finding out how to terminate uh, RG6 with an RCA cable and um, the different options, confused as to RG6 coax being used only for cable versus using it as a subwoofer or a security line or whatever. So I just wanna kinda go over some of the different options available. Um, as well as how to physically do it in a theater that we are working on right now here in Colorado. I'm going to go into Home Depot and show you the different options, what's on the shelf, as well as exactly how to do it when I get back to the customer's home. If you aren't one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. All right, let's go in and check it out. So I'm gonna be honest guys, with all this uh, virus stuff going on, you might have to be doing a lot more DIY projects. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos these next few days on how you can do it yourself. I have the confidence in you guys. Uh, but with these videos, it'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, you can find this at Lowe's, you can find it at Home Depot, it does not matter. All right, so as you're walking through the improvement store, you're gonna be looking for the low voltage section. It's typically located next to the electrical aisle. So if you look right here. Phone and TV, extension cords, things like that. Okay guys, so this is the area that I'm talking about. And if you look, they have a bunch of different connections here. Where are the RG6? <laughs> RCA. Is that them? Boom. Okay guys, so this is exactly what we're looking for here. RG6, which is your standard coax that we've been using for different types of applications, including cable and antenna and satellite, as well as cameras. But this allows you to put a fitting on it for RCA so that we can use our LFE on our subwoofers for home theater. Other applications, guys, uh, you can see with RG6, you can do coax, uh, I always recommend the uh, crimp connectors. Don't use RG59, that's such an outdated format. You can see the thing is, the shelf is full because nobody uses it. It's a thinner conductor. Use RG6 and compression fittings. Now, if you're doing it yourself at home, don't just get these because you will not be able to complete the job. We wanna also get the tool to do it. So, right here. Um, you have a bunch of different options available. What I have in my tool bag is, is not here, actually. Here it is, this kit right here. So this strips it and this compresses it. And this is just, a, I think, yeah, this is just a wire cutter which you don't really need this, but it's not bad to have if you're gonna be doing some DIY projects. Now, another tool while I'm here uh, that I think you guys really are gonna want if you're setting up your home theater is going to be a toner. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Tone and probe tester and tracer kit. They don't have it. But I'm literally putting out a video right now here in Boulder, Colorado, a theater that we're doing, showing you that kit. It's really a lifesaver. You can trace down wires so quickly. It's mandatory in my opinion. 
Another thing you're gonna need more than likely if you bought in wall speakers for me is a drywall cutter. So pick up one of these guys. Fish tape is sold at Lowe's and Home Depot too for fish and wire through the wall. This is a small kit, but they make bigger ones too. But this is a subwoofer video, so I'll stick to that right here. And this is the cable that we're gonna be using. The customer had already ran this through the wall prior to us coming. Basically, this guy had ran all his own wire, just kind of consulted with us on, you know, exactly where to put the wires and had the construction guys completely outfit this house. I mean, looks really good. It's not quite finished yet, but, you know, you got to give uh, give the guy some kudos. All you guys around the country are doing this. Uh, it's really inspirational. So what we're going to do is head on back and get these guys hooked up. But kind of wanted to talk to you for a minute. Uh, the way it's looking, uh, we're probably not going to be able to do very many installs uh, because of this virus. So I'm going to do my best to make these videos extremely informative and helping you guys still set up your own theater so that we can continue to do business and uh, you guys can have some entertainment through this whole thing. So. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and drop some comments below. I want to hear uh, some ideas to see what we can all do as a community. I will be back at the job site here shortly and we'll get these subs hooked up. Okay, so we're going to start fresh just so you guys know exactly how to do it. So this is an RG6 cable and typically this is what you'll see from your builder or if you run one bare. You're going to take this tool, which I just showed you at Home Depot, and you're going to line it up. They actually have a little diagram right here on the front. You're supposed to like close this lid so that it lines up perfect like that. I never do, but you can line it up just like that. Spin it. Mine's kind of old, so I did it like three or four times, but you should only have to do it one or twi one time or two times with a new one. See how it scored it in two different spots? Well, we're gonna pull it, that off and we're gonna peel back some of the shielding. Now you got this right here. I hope you guys can see this. I'm trying to move it around. That's what you're going for. And on the back of these RG6 RCA tips, it actually shows you a little example on how to do this. So we're going to take a couple of these out. Now it just slips right over the top like this. Kind of wiggle it. Now I barely pressed it in so it's not fully compressed. You're actually, it's pulling back between the metal and the outer sh shielding, it's kind of like compressing in between there. And then when you cramp it down, it actually compresses the metal in between that shielding, if that makes sense, so that it won't pull off. So we're gonna push it down on there like that. And it'll just stop. You should feel it move about, about that much, maybe a, a quarter inch and then it's in there and you can actually pull on it and it won't, I mean, not don't pull on it hard, but pull on it just a little bit to make sure it's in there. And then you're gonna take your compression tool right here. Again, I showed you this at Home Depot. You can get any variety of, of this. They make a bunch of different brands. And then you're gonna stick it in there like this and compress it. Don't overdo it. As soon as the metal right here is touching, you're good to go. And I always just give it a little, little pull just to make sure it's firmly on there. So you're going to do this on both sides of your line. And then I like to tone it out, which I'll make a video on that too, how to use a toner. Just so you guys doing it yourself at home know kind of generally how this process works. But then you'll want to throw a label on it as sub one so you can take it into the sub one or sub two 
output on the back of your receiver and then plug this into the LFE so that your processor, your Morant 6014 in this situation, is sending the signal to the subwoofer instead of the subwoofer doing any of the crossovers itself. Um, and you actually turn it right to LFE mode on the back of the sub. Uh, which I'm doing a video on this entire room that I'm in right now. So you guys got to subscribe to the channel and check out this theater. It's uh, going to be pretty sick. We, I showed prior to construction, this space was like a, an extra unused room and it's being converted currently into a theater room. So we're going to have a few different phases to it. Um, I think that's about it. I'll show you one more real quick, just so you guys definitely have a good angle on how it's done. Let's go over here to the back of the room. This one's already peeled back. You can see, ready to rock and roll. So I'm just gonna wiggle it on like that and push down. Crimp it on. And we're good. Now I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do that to the other side as well. In the closet. All right guys, well, I hope this helped you understand how and where to find your wire and fittings and exactly how to connect it. Uh, I made a full video on this project here showing how to connect it to the receiver as well as the subwoofer, but I kind of gave you a quick explanation over this video. If you did like it, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. We got a ton of these videos and I'm gonna keep them coming for you guys. If you would like to buy anything for your theater room, make sure to give us a call, shoot us an email, and show your support. It means the absolute world to us. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Yeah.